I'm not gonna call this quarantine a slay. I might call it Tiger King look. Not gonna lie. If I put some art with some white stripes. But look at like I don't feel you don't feel like Carol Basket killed her husband no, no, whacked him. Not, I'm not a tiger, no. I always think I look like a gazelle anyway. Everybody looks like an animal. Mine is a gazelle. Alright, gotta go. I just need a prayer. Like, y'all, listen to me. We just need to pray because there's so much stuff going on right now in the past week. So much stuff has happened and I just wanna pray and ask God to please give us peace. Please give us peace in our homes. Please give us peace in our lives, in our families, in our relationships. Please, God, restore our peace because I feel like the devil comes to disrupt it and I'm not here for it today. Not today, Satan. That's that's what I'm here for today. Not today, Satan. He's trying me. He's trying me. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Y'all, I just needed, I needed a moment. I needed a moment. I needed a prayer. I just need God to hear me real quick because I'm really feeling like the devil is trying everybody. Everyone. Everyone. And I'm over it. So not today. So now that we prayed and, you know, moved the devil out of the way, let's uh, get into this look. We about to do something orange today. I don't even know. I'm going to give you two and one. I'm going to do some wand curls and fix these wand curls that I did the other day. And I'm also going to give you a monochromatic orange look. Monochromatic is when you have one color. So it's going to be one color. Like sometimes you have red, you have a whole entire outfit, head to toe red. This is going to be orange. My hair is not going to be orange. No, it's not going to happen right now. But... I will have orange eyes, not going to do an orange lip and an orange shirt, so kind of lay it out all orange, okay? So yeah, guys, I really had to get that, I really had to pray today. I felt it before I even made the video. I knew I was going to come on here and pray because I feel like the devil is trying me and everybody else in my family, and I'm just, I'm really not here for it right now. So yeah, let's get started, shall we? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, today I bring you another look in my quarantine and slay look. This one is the orange look. Um, if you guys can't tell right now, I'm pretty much doing Roy G. Viv. If you don't know what that is, that is the colors of the rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, yellow, blue, indigo, violet. So, so far I think I've done like four colors out of it. Um, so yeah, so today I just recorded this orange monochromatic look. Um, I'm loving it. At the beginning, you're going to see my prayer because I didn't know if this look was going to come together. Wasn't necessarily feeling it today. Um, it's been a trying week. So just, yeah, this actually makes me happy. It feels like bright, airy, like I'm going on vacation somewhere. Um, of course, on the phone with my nephew, FaceTiming him. And we agree that maybe I should be in Florida right now. Somewhere on Miami Beach. Like, why am I not on the beach? Why? Why? So... Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I'm not going to ramble on too long. I will give you two seconds to like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, that was like more than two seconds, I think. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this look, guys. This look, I'm really feeling it. Really feeling the orange on the skin. Looking like, I don't know, what am I looking like? A, a tiger, maybe? A lion? Maybe I could call this the Tiger King look. Okay, no, don't call it the Tiger King look. Guys, if you haven't seen that show on Netflix, please go watch it. It's so crazy and ridiculous, and it takes place in Florida. Everyone loves it. And, I mean, I have orange, white, and black. Why can't I call myself the Tiger King look? Do I not look like a tiger? The curls? The I mean, I could be a lioness. No? No, I can't be a lioness? All right. So, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy this look. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it because I'm rambling. And I'm listening to my nephew who's playing songs in my ear. So, I got to go because I'm going to get confused. So that's it guys. So if you like this look, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you in my next one.
Okay guys, I'm starting off with my Makeup Revolution Infinite Concealer. Uh, this is the one I always use just to prime my eyes and just to start off. And I found my NYX uh, Milk Pencil and I am now priming my eyes again with this. So I was hoping that this would make my Maya, Maya makeup pigment stand out and it actually really did. So this definitely helped. So again, this is Beats by Deb's tip and it really worked. Now I'm going in with my Maya makeup pigment and I'm placing that all over my lid. And this is something that I'm gonna, actually I do one eye different than the other. So the first thing I initially do is place this mild makeup pigment all over my eye and I'm blending that color in. Again, I told you guys this is a monochromatic look. So literally I'm taking two colors for this entire look and just blending two different orange colors together. So I'm taking this NYX Milk Pencil and I'm placing this all over my lid um, just to make sure that it's fresh because I felt like it dried down too matte. I'm going back in with my mild makeup pigment and this is in the color orange. The pigments actually don't have any names, they're just different colors. So I'm just taking that orange pigment again and placing that all over my lid. I am doing the motions of patting and blending in order to get the color payoff. This actually wasn't as much fallout as before, so I definitely think that the NYX Milk Pencil helped. Now in my crease, I'm taking the Juvia's Place palette and I'm going in with the color Aromo and I'm literally just placing that in my crease. That's gonna be the other color that I use. Um, again, I told you guys I only use two orange colors and that was one of them. That's the Mayo Makeup Pigment right now and it's like the neon orange. So I just place a little bit more of that into my lid or on my lid and that's what you guys see as that bright pigment that's showing through on the camera. I'm just taking a makeup uh, wipe, actually it's makeup remover and a wipe and I'm just placing that underneath my eyes and taking away any fallout that came from the pigments. This is just the Fenty Beauty Primer and now I'm giving you guys a review of what I think of it. So the consistency of this is like mm, creamy, a little watery, kind of feels watery to me. Okay. I don't know, I mean, I wash my hands just now, so I don't know if that's this or, it's silky, yeah. It feels good, it feels like sticky. Like it feels like my foundation is about to stick to my face. So I guess that's good. On a scale of one to 10, I would give it uh, <laughs> at eight right now. It feels pretty good, it feels hydrating. Very hydrating, so I would def definitely, I would definitely, with an S. <laughs> Definitely. Get that S in there. Don't be don't be shy. Definitely. Alright. And now to try the foundation. This is in 440. Let's pray that this shade works for me. Alright, so I'm praying that this looks good because it looks dark. Do they have a scent? Oh. Yo. Hold up. A little bit of like baby powder, I feel like. It, it smells sweet, like, if you don't like scented foundations, this has a little bit of a scent. Not too bad, but it does have a little bit of a scent. But in the camera, the viewfinder, I don't know if you guys are picking that up, but it's looking real good right now. Let's pull you back a little bit so I can actually do this. Just, just slightly pull you back. Okay, there we go. So I can actually, it's more watery than my um, MAC foundation. But it smells like like baby powder, like fresh aloe. I was recording, I pressed live view shoot. <sighs> Guys, so I put my concealer on because I wasn't recording a few minutes ago, I guess. Uh, the same one that I always do. So we put that concealer on. I don't even know, this, I feel like this keeps stopping. 
And then I'm putting on my Revolution, Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. And I'm gonna put that over there like that, brighten it up. All right, so now I'm going in with my Makeup Revolution Concealer. And again, this is to just brighten up my under eye. I'm taking my Beauty Blender. And of course, you guys know, I have to blend for at least 20 minutes with this just to make sure that it looks flawless and blends all out. Now, blend for 20 minutes. Now I'm going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Powder in medium deep and I'm placing this under my concealer and setting my concealer with this um, or anywhere I put concealer so the highest points of my face. Guys, I don't know what we're listening to or what we're talking about, but obviously I'm having a good time. Now I'm going in with this Beauty Bakery Flower Powder in the color brown and I'm placing this all over my face and just trying to bring some color back to my actual face. Now for my contour, I think I just used Mocha Mommy and um, this is by Fenty Beauty and I just placed this on my cheeks to chisel my cheeks a little bit and now I'm going back in and just trying to sweep away any of the powder that is loose from my um, makeup, no, from my Maybelline Fit Me powder. I'm putting on this Breezy Blush from MAC and I think I'm pretty much done. I'm going back in again with that powder because I feel like I look too light. Going in with my Fenty Beauty Highlighter in Hustler Baby, and I love that. And this is after I realized that I was too bright, so I was trying to make sure that I didn't have that harsh line on my cheeks, and I'm removing that now. I'm going with my NYX Milk Pencil again, and I'm putting this under my um, eye, I guess, on my lower lash line. Yeah, lower lash line. And then I'm going back in with the Juvia's Place Aromo Color and placing that on my lower lash line as well. Um, now I'm lining my lips with this NYX Current, um, current I guess, color, and I use the Dose of Colors. Um, I forgot what color this is, but I'll put it in the description box below. It's like a nude color. Fenty Beauty. And clearly I took Fenty Beauty lip gloss in hot chocolate. This is hot chocolate. And I placed this all over my lips. See, no, no. And please comment below if you know where that song is from. So now I'm just taking off my head wrap and placing some LA Girl Concealer in my, um, what is that called? In my part. And yeah, I'm pretty much done. I'm going to set my face with my Morphe Continuous Spray. And now I'm moving on to my hair, guys. Remember, I told you this is a two-in-one. So I already did wand curls the other day. I'm just going back in. And basically, I'm taking the hair um, that I thought was too messy, brushing it out. And then I'm wrapping around my wand curler. This is actually the small wand. And I'm not going to place it flat on the curler. I'm just going to twist it around, twist it around until I get to the end. And please be careful when you're doing this because I literally almost got burned a few times. I actually burned the skin off my hand with this thing. So just be careful, guys. Um, you're going to see me even say that in the video. I think I almost got burned as well. Now, if you want your curls to frame your face, you actually have to curl away from your face. So you're going to curl your hair counterclockwise in order for the curls to fall on your face, if that makes sense. Um, so you take the hair again, you're going to wrap it around the curler. And again, you don't have to wrap it around flat. It'll produce two different curls if you wrap it around flat. So you kind of just wrap it around, hold on to it, let the curl cool, and then you would just let it drop after it cools for a few moments. And that is how you're going to get the curls that I have here. Let's 
not get burned, guys. Ah! <laughs> this is the scariest tool ever. It will burn you. You have to be careful with this thing. Do not play with this. It is not a game out here. And now for my arches. Guys, I don't really know how to do this. This is just how I do it, so I'm not pretending to be a professional, but this is just what works for me. And in the, this video, it wasn't even perfect. I take a curling wand and I basically place the hair over the curling wand or behind the curling wand to have these little arches in my hair. So that's it. This is the finalized look. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.